Thank you. Good. So start. Yeah. ABS, you can take it off, but just leave it off for the test ride if that's okay. Leave it on. Yeah, just leave it. Of as course. Normal, so you, yeah, yeah, you yeah. Good. Horn indicators best to cancel. Yeah. Um, and this is just like your little computer. To go okay. through the, and it, all it does is show you the different. Um, yeah. Like, temperature. Yeah. Trip one and got it. It yeah. doesn't change any modes no. as such. It just. Okay. And the modes are. How many? Um, I think you've got on and off road here. Oh, just on and off road. Yes. Yeah, fine. Yeah. Okay. Right, well, we won't be going off road. No. You've no. got your lights there. <laughs> yeah. So it's on all the time and then high beam. Yeah. And pull it forward for a little flash. Very good. All right. Yeah, lovely. And that's it. All right. Okay, so here we are, and um, it's a very handsome looking Fantic 700, and we're ready to go. Question, what's the right blend of fun, practicality, performance and ease of handling? Well, I think it may be in this package, the Caballero 700. I was first drawn to Fantic during a visit to an East London dealer over two years ago and being seduced by the 500 single Caballeros on display. In my mind, it's all about proportions and design aesthetics, as I've rarely bought a bike for practicality only. It's got to have garage sparkle, hasn't it? So that winter months can lead to thoughts of installing central heating for the garage. The Caballero 700 wants to be talked about as Italian stallion, with the rising sun finesse of the Yamaha proven twin engine. But I think it's more of a thoroughbred cult with its eagerness to pull away and its firmness of ride, not neglecting a fair degree of comfort. And of course, Fantix history is firmly based in the scrambler sector of the market. This bike's design brief harks back heavily to a 125 scrambler from earlier years. As such, this review doesn't take into account the bike's undoubted credentials for off-road performance. So that was quite a ride and um, a nice, uh, very responsive parallel twin engine and it's a Yamaha proven 700 twin and, and what a nice package it all makes uh, with the, the Italian styling of the, um, the rest of the bike um, very neat very maneuverable and um, actually delightful um, so let me just give you the full walk around. Nice spoked wheels. Um, single disc at the front. Um, single disc at the rear. Just actually wanted to show the um, very clever hinged mirror design. You don't see this um, on many bikes, but it's just a good idea. Look at that. So you've got more than one level of adjustment on the mirrors. Um, so, isn't that fantastic? Look at the clever Italian design. 